Yo, what is going on boys? It is me and I'm back with another YouTube video today. Hope you guys are doing good and today I am here to show you guys how to upgrade your ball player in your MLB road to the show super super quickly. It actually takes like it, it, it's actually really easy. Um, honestly, I've seen people even get to the league just by doing this. So even if you're worried about your progress for your actual player, you can actually get all the way up to the pro team while you're doing this method. So you're pretty much getting XP. You're pretty much getting, you know, certain stubs. You're upgrading your player. Um, you know, you're getting them a Diamond Dynasty, upgrading your player like that as well. And uh, you, you're pretty much just going along with the process. It's pretty much XP. It's kind of everything. If I sound a little weird, I am like, I'm pretty sick right now. I'm not going to lie, but I do still want to get some videos out because I didn't post yesterday because of how sick I was, but I want to get at least some videos out. So I apologize for how I sound, but you know, I, I can't, I can't stop the grind now. You know what I mean? But before this video begins, make sure to drop a sub down below on the channel for the best MLB, the show tips, stub making XP grinding, anything like that. I'll be dropping a lot more videos on that as well. Um, the stub video that I recently posted is doing very well on my channel. So I really do appreciate that I am a Madden youtuber mostly so I will be doing Madden content and MLB the show content but if you are a fan of both games or even just one of them I'll be doing content on both games so if you guys want to sub down below for that you guys can just watch whatever videos you know you want to watch I appreciate it but I will be doing content for both games I do enjoy MLB a lot so thank you and let's try and hit at least 25 likes on this video as you guys see I'm only at 62 overall I haven't even really done this glitch that much only because I am a fan of doing the actual you know grinding out of your real player I do enjoy doing that but I have tried this a little bit and it is pretty helpful for people that don't really feel like doing that they just want to grind out the XP they just want to grind out your guy and stuff I fully get that um, so you know I personally enjoy doing those little story mode games and stuff like the my careers the face of the franchise and Madden I enjoy doing that so I don't I haven't done it that much but I will show you guys how to do it personally because I do know how to do it so um, you guys already know you guys can go to road to the show missions and you have all of these missions you can do stuff in Diamond Dynasty as well if you really want to but road to the show missions is mainly what you're looking for so i'm going to show you guys my progress right now you guys already see i have 38 earned i can go all the way up to 40 to get the equipment pack so if we go to road to the show missions i'm just going to show you guys all of what i have so we have 13 out of 24 total plate appearances 4 to 15 assists no put outs uh, i my assist and put outs completed um so and then i also have the assist completed again here i have the 52 out of 60 assists and then 16 out of 60 put out so this is also i have stick fielding on my guy only because you know i i do enjoy the fielding boost that you get because it kind of makes your stats look a lot better when i do the fielding stuff um i do have some decent stuff as well i am a two-way player but i don't i'm like a closing pitcher so i really don't play pitches that much but i'm going to show you guys what you can actually do to get away from that as well just so you don't have to deal with the pitching issues and stuff because sometimes you know the game kind of glitches out and doesn't really give you what you need to get when you are a two-way player so i'll give you guys both methods also there may be videos on this out as well but i have been talking to some other people and they've been telling me about this and you know they've been telling me about some other stuff with mlb because i'm an xbox player so i'm a little new but i do want to get this out to you guys for the people that don't already know how to do this so we're just going to hop right into a game all you have to do is play next play that game so just hop right into it as you see i am a shortstop right now once you get into the game you can literally just skip to whatever appearance you have play your appearance pause it and then go to exit simulate and exit then press the b button or circle if you are on playstation and you just have to skip through the whole entire game essentially that's pretty much all it is it'll tell you who won whatever uh and then that's that's pretty much it you're getting whatever boost of course i go over four that's my luck and then you go right into the next game but as you guys see right here you still get the boosts you're still getting um the you know the progression not the boost you're still getting the progression on your player even though you're not actually playing those games so let's hop into another game real quick and we will see if this works once again. Usually you have to make sure you're in the game. Don't just actually simulate the game on the calendar because that doesn't really work fully. You have to actually go into the game. So we'll go uh, whatever, press the skip, and then you know skip into your next appearance, play appearance, pause immediately, simulate and exit. And then like I said, B or circle if you're on PlayStation and be on Xbox, of course. Bang, whatever you win, cool, cool. One for four first base so bang so then i'm just gonna go to exit real quick i'm gonna return to the clubhouse and we're gonna see the actual results as well so we're gonna see the boost that we actually already got you're gonna see the stats that we already got remember i was 38 out of uh whatever and you already saw that i had 11 i just got 1100 stubs and i didn't even play the game 1100 stubs right off the bat so you can get xp doing this you can get stubs doing this super super easy of course i got a little cutscene thing so now we're gonna go back to my actual player we're gonna go to loadout and then view program still at 38 but now you guys see 17 out of 24 plate appearances um you know 
I think this was this was at something lower before I'm pretty sure but you guys see the stats do go up even if you're not really even playing it might take a little you know it might take a little long for all the stats to go fully up and finish every single stat that you need to get for these and some of these stats are gonna be different depending on your actual loadout that you do use but I do the stick fielding if you do have a better one you can also do like a hitting loadout just so you know any kind of hit that you get is gonna go right towards you but I feel like fielding is a little bit easier because fielding I mean honestly how hard is it to field especially if you're going to be simming through games you're automatically going to be getting fielding stats but who knows you might have a game you go like 0 for 5 you saw i just went 0 for 4 because my player is not even that great so that's kind of the whole entire method to it and then you can keep upgrading your player doing this so you don't even have to actually play the games you can sit here and simulate 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 and if you need to you know back out of clubhouse go back into the game might be sometimes a little bit easier um, so if you are a two-way player, I would recommend backing out of the game no matter what and then going back into the next game because it does depend sometimes. It might switch up your position and it won't give you the actual, uh, you know, stuff that you do need, the progression that you need on your actual player. But you can go all the way up and you can get all these choice packs. Like I said, you can get stubs and certain stuff like that. And then if you go and finish your Diamond Dynasty missions, of course, you can end up getting stuff for that as well. This is pretty much the easiest way that I've been told and I've been trying out certain things. I've been trying out a, trying out a bunch of different stuff. And uh, obviously, just playing through the actual games isn't going to be the best. You might, uh, you know, get certain boosts and it might be a little bit better since you might play better than the CPU, of course. You're only 62 overall, 60 overall, whatever overall you guys are at right now. Um, but this is definitely the best way to do it if you don't, you know, if you're just trying to do it the quickest way, fastest way, easiest way. Bang, just simulate the game. Remember, I'll do it one more time to show you guys kind of get the gist of it. So you'd have to go right into the show. Of course, road to the show. Play, play next. Hop into the next game that you appear in. Of course, like I said, I am at shortstop still, so I'm going to be sitting at shortstop. I'm sure this works for every position. I'm pretty sure. Pitchers, I think it might be slightly different. I'm pretty sure you can still simulate through the game and stuff, but I don't know if you need like a certain amount of innings pitched or stuff like that to actually get this. But uh, we're just going to skip right into the next appearance. Bang. Exit. Simulate and exit. Cool. Press B one more time. Sim through the rest of the whole entire game. Um, and then of course we get smacked by the team because my team sucks and over three But like I said, even though we're over three, we're still getting those fieldings that, that you know We're still getting the, the fielding progression and that's why I do enjoy the fielding one So you guys will see, you know, we're still getting the XP. We're getting the progression on our player It is slow, but it is worth it Especially if you're just sitting here simulating games for a long time you get stubs XP all of the above your player upgrades I've seen people go from triple a to all the way to the pros uh just by doing this literally you can just sit here and do this the whole entire time and that's pretty much it so you know i don't want to drag it on a little bit longer so that's pretty much gonna be it for the video i uh, hope you guys enjoyed if this does help you out a lot make sure to drop a like down below also like i said before i know some people may have dropped videos on this before but I just want to get a video out on my own just because, I mean, I'm really not too sure. I haven't really looked it up too much, but people were telling me, and they're like, oh, I'll post a video so people will know, so I'm posting a video. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. I really do appreciate you guys watching. Uh, I might be doing a Madden video later on, but I think I might take a break from streaming for a little bit because I just don't think I'm in the zone right now to be streaming. I just really don't feel too great, but appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully you guys have a good one. I will see you guys in the next one, and peace.